Find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Nitsan, I'm a filmmaker and photographer, for those of you that don't know me. And recently I showed you the Baker BK777 travel tripod. And uh, so today, after a lot of use and abuse, I wanted to give it a full review. And basically this is a compact travel tripod, about as small as you can get one to fold up while still being basically full height. So, uh, about yay high. So, uh, you know, enough for most, um, for most people and stuff. Uh, might be a tiny bit short for stand-up interviews, but it should be fine for most stuff. And basically, this is giving you quite good quality, not perfect, but very good quality for around about a hundred dollars or so, uh, including shipping from China. So a very low cost considering what you get here. So I'm gonna go over what I like first and then I'm gonna go over what I don't like. So what I like is the fact that it's super lightweight, comes with, there it is, a uh, very small light case and uh, folds up very quickly. Um, these, uh, these locking, um, sort of screw things are quite easy to work with, not perfect, but they help keep it more compact, I think, which is why they went for the spin lock thing. Um, but apart from the fact that they sometimes get a bit stuck if you don't unscrew them enough, they're good. Um, so let me actually explain that. So with some of these, when you go to unlock them, opening it is fine. When you go to unlock them, you'll think you've unlocked it because it sort of went loose where you would think that's unlocked, but you actually have to spin it a little bit more and then it goes it goes sort of stiff again and then loose again. So um, sort of now it's stiff and then it goes loose and you think it's free, but that doesn't want to close. And then even though it's sort of free there, you have to continue spinning it and it goes sort of stiff for a short area again and then goes loose again. And then it's actually, so on some of these, uh, it'll do that, I think some or all of them. It's a little bit annoying. You just basically have to remember to like do a, a, a nice, I think about a full turn does it. And so if you use both hands like this, you can go, f you can basically do that um, in one move, uh, sometimes two. And then to undo, as long as you do a nice big movement with your arm, you know you've completely unscrewed it. And then, uh, then it's fine. And then this, you pull these out and these little tab things, and that's what lock it to there or to there. And another thing I don't like is that when you've locked it to there, sometimes it's a bit difficult to get it out and you have to push the leg inwards a bit in order to pull it out. So ideally, maybe these would have been a little bit bigger, but again, that would have added to the size and the whole point of this thing is so it's that it's super sort of travelable. And uh, this thing weighs a kilogram and a half, uh, somewhere around there, including the head, which is very lightweight and very sort of nice and easy to travel with. Um, it's a little bit slightly annoying to get into the case because the case is quite tight around it, but not a big issue. Um, I would have liked a case that's just slightly larger or something. And, Basically, I have to do that every time uh, to get that in, but it's not a huge issue. And then it's uh, pretty nice and compact. Uh, a thicker strap would have maybe been nice, uh, but not really a huge issue. I don't really use this case that much because I normally travel with a backpack and then this would actually just uh, attach to the back of my backpack exposed. That's just what works for me. Um, if you do maybe a, a very long, like an actual flight or something, then you may want to use this case as well. Or if you want to sling it over your shoulder, then I guess uh, you could uh, use this case. Personally, I just don't use it that much. Uh, I just find that it sort of wastes a bit of time. And because I'm, because I'm not worried about this thing breaking, the case is actually more to protect other things so that this doesn't bump into them. Um, because I really don't think this could, I mean, yeah, it could break, but I really don't think anything I would do to it would break it. Um, unless like I really like threw it on concrete or something. Um, or obviously like if the legs are open and like you somehow, whatever, they're probably, you'd probably be able to break them. Uh, but apart from that, it's pretty strong, especially like this when you're traveling with it, that's gonna be really nice and tough. Uh, so 
That's why I'm not going to bother with the case very often. Now the head has a few small issues, but it's pretty okay. Um, first of all, once this is loose for the, uh, the pan, the whole thing has a, a slight wobble. And so that's okay when you've got a camera on there, you won't even notice it. But if you want to use anything bigger on here, like I did with, with the jib, that really was uh, annoying, really, really annoying. So it's not a fluid head, it's not intended to be a fluid head, but it does have a fluid pan. Um, I think if I remember correctly, it was this head that went a bit stiff after a short while. Not a big problem, again, not intended to be a fluid head, but what I did is I just opened it up, which was fairly easy to do, just a few screws, and then it was a slightly weird sort of the way it clamps together. Um, but I just opened it up from the underneath, unscrewed it, put a bit of oil inside and that was fine and what you don't want to do is you don't want to just spray oil on it because then you might lose grip in the head here uh, because if this area gets oily it's going to lose grip and then you have to open it up completely and wash it or something like that i don't know anyways um the head is pretty strong i've seen stronger but i've, uh, I've also seen weaker i know that doesn't really tell you much um as an example if I lock this down all the way and then try to move it, I can. Uh, now I did use a, quite a lot of force for that, but I have heads the same size that won't move, that I, I physically cannot move out of place. So it's actually, you know, it's pretty okay for a head, for a camera to hold up a camera. It's not at all a problem. It's not like if you tilt it, it's going to move. I did have to use a lot of force for that but it's not as strong as some other heads uh, that will cost you a similar sort of uh, price. But uh, this does come with the tripod, so it's a pretty good deal. And uh, I tested this with a slider, which I know a lot of you have been asking me about, uh, especially on Facebook. And this will hold a slider with a slight bend. I've actually posted a separate video about that to show you how much bend there is. But this head will, surprisingly enough, hold a slider up. Um, a one meter slider, I tested it, and it was actually okay. But, you know, not for very big cameras, you know, for, for small setups, that did work all right. And uh, what else? This piece extends uh, to, is that the maximum? That is the maximum. And then locks in place again. And uh, it's unscrewable from there and there in case you want to mount the head directly to here instead. But um, I actually would have really liked if this thing was slightly larger and then if this actually telescoped right the way instead of this thing where the legs go all the way up it would have actually been nice if this uh, went right through like most traditional tripods if it went all the way through and down into here but this way with this design it keeps it as compact as possible and it still allows you to do fine height adjustments using this uh, if, because if this wasn't here it would be really annoying to sort of change the height of the camera so um one thing that is a bit annoying is that these two pieces, the head to this, they do get stuck uh, together and it's quite difficult to unscrew them. And, okay, so I managed to do it that time, but a lot of times I sort of have to maybe like reposition the head or something and then like try and really get a good grip on it and try and untwist it. So not a huge issue, but if you're planning to sort of unscrew it a lot uh, just be aware that it might get stuck on you and uh, you could probably find a solution to that like maybe um, like the rubber pads that I use on there like maybe add a rubber pad in between uh, which would still keep it allow it to grip nicely but hopefully should allow it to not get stuck and uh, what else the um, quick release plate is okay I'm not a huge fan of uh, as you saw right there um, of Arca Swiss I don't actually know who started Arca Swiss. I'm guessing it was a company called Arca Swiss or something, uh, but basically it's, it's a, quite a, a standard uh, photography tripod plate, very compact, pretty good uh, high quality. They do hold once they're locked down, but on a lot of them, the safety system isn't good enough. So here it was safe up until a certain point. So there it's not moving. And then here it can only move a little bit. And then one, another, half turn ish half turn and a bit and that was completely released no safety system so you can get some ones with a better safety system which I, i've still not found any that have a complete 
a safety system like, like actual video tripods have where you have to press a button to release it. I've seen ones that have the button, but they will still fall out if you unscrew this all the way. So uh, I can't really complain about that because it's a fault in the Arca Swiss design, um, but uh, with a little bit of extra thought, they could have put a fail safe into here. They could have put a safety release. So uh, I guess still okay for the price. If you're careful with it, that's fine. If you're a bit sort of ditzy and you, you, know, you might forget to do that, I, then I would not recommend to use this head and I would recommend to get the tripod, maybe sell the head on eBay or just use it for something else. Uh, it is a very useful uh, device and put a different head on here. Um, if you're okay and you don't forget to lock that kind of stuff, then it's perfectly fine. And then uh, that's basically it. There's not really many more things I could say about this. It is pretty high quality. For the price, I've been really abusing it and, you know, and it's not been breaking. So the price is really good for the quality you get, even though it's sort of a no name brand. It's not, uh, it's not something from Manfrotto or something. And it feels and works like, you know, pretty much like the, the name brands. So I've been happy with it. I'm gonna be keeping this uh, because this actually has been extremely useful in uh, pretty much anything I wanted to do with a tripod. I've even used it as a light stand. And um, yeah, it's actually about the same sort of weight as most light stands. So uh, if you have this, it's actually kind of nice to carry around with you. Um, if you know you might need a light stand, this would work nicely, except it doesn't go that high. Uh, light stands usually go higher. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. Uh, it is a recommended product. If you're looking for a tripod, I haven't been able to find uh, ones, I haven't been able to find anything at a better price than this that goes to full height. So uh, like, you know, human height. Um, but if you guys have any recommendations for stuff I should review, then do send me links. And um, all right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you soon.